Hello and welcome to this uh, new video series uh, on uh, building a multi-platform app uh, within Xcode 12 and uh, iOS 14. And uh, in this uh, video series, what we're going to be uh, doing is uh, we're going to be creating a, a Hacker News clone um, using Xcode 12 and uh, in iOS 14 and this app is going to be a uh, multi-platform uh, what do I mean by that is basically it's going to be working for um, iOS, iPadOS and Mac OS all of them okay and um, at this point like you know uh, there's a limitation for Mac OS though so I want to point out uh, that Mac OS unless you have uh, Mac OS X um, Bix are installed uh, uh, the beta is installed if you're watching when Xcode is still in beta phase which is which is right now um, uh, then this app is uh, not going to work uh, on your Catalina because um, obviously when you run it you need that environment and uh, your Mac OS um, requirement is not going to meet that but uh, you can still test out the experience uh, and you would know how the app is going to look like on macOS by running them into iPad. Because when you create macOS, it actually has an option where it says um, how should the app look like in your uh, when you select for your multi-platform. And uh, that option is uh, for when you check Mac, it it says like you know what should it do so uh, you can leave it to scale interface to match iPad and that's what we're going to be covering and that way um, uh, you can have your uh, app running uh, basically the Mac look and feel is going to be same as iPad anyways I just wanted to cover that but you can still like you know run it within Mac as long as you have uh, Mac OS Big Sur installed. So let's take a look at what the app was going to look like. So it's going to basically have a nav controller, uh, which is, um, or, or a navigation view, which is going to host a uh, latest articles, uh, front page articles from Hacker News API. So you're going to be learning how uh, you can fetch data and parse data in Swift UI. And uh, then once you have parse that data that you have received from the API, how to list that in, how to present that in a list. And uh, when you click on that list, it'll actually open a detail view, which is a web view. So you can learn how to create a web view within Swift UI uh, that can load your URL. So uh, whenever we are passing that URL to uh, to your web view, then it's going to basically load that URL. Okay. So that's going to be, uh, that's going to how that, that is how it's going to look on the iPhone, different form factors for, for iPhone. And this is what it's going to look like on the iPad, uh, for your iPad, uh, case or your, uh, your Mac app, uh, case. So it's going to basically a Mac app and the iPad, uh, apps are, gonna look exactly uh, the same okay so uh, and and we're gonna have this uh, collapsible um, basically collapse, collapsible nav controller and um, you can actually just cycle through all the news articles and read the news article on the right hand side um, by basically loading that view into by loading that detail view in a web view Okay, so yeah, so this is uh, what we're going to be uh, working with in this uh, video series. So uh, you're going to be not only learning about Swift UI, uh, you're going to be learning how to uh, download data from the internet, uh, how to pass that data uh, using uh, JSON decodable and codable protocols. Uh, you're going to be learning how to present um, that information into a web view by creating a web view within SwiftUI. 
and uh, then displaying them for the navigation uh, either on the side by side navigation basically for uh, bigger form factor uh, screens uh, but uh, like you know display them as a stacked um, a stacked navigation for smaller form factor screens like phones okay and uh, and then you're gonna also make this app available uh, to work within uh, Mac uh, OS as well so you can release this in Mac app store uh, to basically for your users to download and use your uh, hacker news clone for reading the news okay so uh this is basically uh gonna be uh the topic of this series so i hope you're excited hop on to the next video to get started thank you